Hello lovely people, welcome to Guitar Elevation. This channel which is all about helping you elevate your guitar playing so you could play anything you dream of. I'm Jack and today I'm gonna show you some amazing tricks. Basically we're gonna talk about what is hybrid picking, what we use it for and why sometimes it's better to choose hybrid picking than the traditional picking methods. I'm also gonna show you some examples of where hybrid picking is the best option. So, what is hybrid picking in general? Like the name suggests, it's basically a hybrid picking technique, meaning I'm going to use more than just one way of picking. Basically, to sum it up, hybrid picking is using both the fingers and the pick. Now, the question is, why would we use hybrid picking? One of the answers would be we want to get a different kind of sound. For example, we want to get the sound of, uh, you know, strings popping thanks to our fingers. This kind of sound. That we, you will find popping strings in a lot of uh, those blues legends such as Stevie Ray Vaughan and John Mayer, just to name a few. Alright, so for example, I could be playing a lick. Let's do that again, and I'm gonna show you my right hand here. And sometimes, especially in the lick I just played, it's even uh, faster to use the hybrid picking than to be using the pick and doing all of these down and ups. Speaking of which, we could use the hybrid picking technique in order to skip strings faster. So for example, if we were to skip uh, some strings. Let's play the following lick. Pay attention to my right hand. So it would be way faster to just use the hybrid picking instead of doing all of these motions of down and up, down and up. So th that would be... It's saving me all the extra, you know, travel. So first we talked about getting a different sound. Second, we talked about convenience. So what I just showed you here in terms of string skipping is about convenience. We could use the convenience in order to arpeggiate faster. For example, if we have parts of a song or whatever, where we're arpeggiating and doing all these crazy jumps from string to another, we can use our fingers in order to make less movements, such as this, for example. I'm not sure if it reminds you of a song. I'm not gonna tell you what that song is. If you guessed it, put it in the comments below and we'll see who's the winner. We talked about string skipping, we talked about arpeggiation. We could also use hybrid picking in order to play faster legato licks, such as this. One more time. Please pay attention to my right hand. You want to make sure that the dynamics of your finger and the pick are the same, meaning that both of them have the same volume. Unless if you decided that one should be higher than another, but it should be intentional. It should be a decision you're making, not because you, you have no idea that basically one is higher than the other. All right, so here what I did in this legato lick is to also basically alternate between the pick and the finger in order to pick faster. So basically pick, finger, pick, finger, pick, finger. One more thing I want to mention, sometimes we use the hybrid picking technique in order to sound neater on some of the riffs we're playing. So for example, I'm going to play the forbidden riff. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. Let's take another song. For example, Iron Man by Black Sabbath. You see, I was trying to strum all of the strings. Now, if you want to be neat, we're going to be using the pick for the lower string and then the finger for the higher string. You see, it's more precise and it's cleaner. So of course, use hybrid picking whenever you can. But you won't be using 
hybrid picking for a song like Master of Puppets, for example, where you're like... It just doesn't make sense. So of course you're gonna use it where it makes sense. It doesn't make sense to play it on Master of Puppets because we're, it's gonna slow us down. We just use hybrid picking whenever uh, we feel that it's gonna uh, help us be faster and basically do less work because you know we're lazy after all that's human nature so now that we talked about where we could use the hybrid picking where it makes sense to use it i'm gonna teach you some of those tricks so we talked about the riff now let's talk about some licks of course you've heard about this amazing classic rock lick <laughs> pretty sure we've all heard of so instead of doing down down up you know what we usually do you would play the first note with a pick and then do the rest with the middle finger and the ring finger pick middle finger ring finger and like I said make sure that the dynamics are the same Here's another example for you. Let's suppose we have those two chords. We have E minor and D minor. If you don't know how to play bar chords, you could just do them as open, open chords. E minor, D minor. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna play with a pick on string five and four, and then middle finger on string three, and ring finger on string number two, so. also talked about string skipping so basically let's take a look at the right hand I'm gonna use the pentatonic for this example the A minor pentatonic first position so use the pick then I'm gonna string skip and use the middle finger then use the pick then use the middle finger use the pick use the middle finger Awesome. So there you go. That was our introduction to hybrid picking. It was a little bit more than just an introduction. Now, depending on your skill level, you might find these exercises to be easy or you might find them to be hard. If you need the tabs for this lesson, don't forget to sign up on the link below. You get the tabs for this lesson for free and all of the other lessons. Practice well. Watch this next lesson that is showing right now on your screen. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this and, and, and also please click on that like button. Let YouTube know that this channel is amazing. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next lesson. Take care and practice well.